Okay, so now that we have uh, successfully sent the email to the user, we need to create this activate.php page, which is going to take in the email address that you can currently see in the URL bar and the unique code that's been assigned to that user in order to match their data up and activate their account. So the uh, activate.php file that we're going to be creating is not very complicated. So let's go ahead and just create a new page. Uh, we'll save this now root directory because remember we are, uh, sorry, let me just spell activate properly, activate.php. Um, obviously we are uh, directing the user to activate.php within the LR directory. This will obviously change depending on, uh, you know, the way you're setting your site up. Um, what do we need to do now? Well, I'm going to go ahead and just copy a template across from um, any old page, really. I will just say protected. Let's just copy that. In fact, no, we need something that has um, protection against users. Uh, so, login, logged in redirect. So, we need this function uh, to be within this uh, page. The reason being is because we don't want users that are already logged in to act activate this page. So, let's go ahead and just open up um, protected. We'll copy that over. And we'll go ahead and use this logged in redirect function as well. Get rid of them too. And we'll put that there. So just to explain for anyone that didn't catch that, we're including our generic template that we're using, our header and footer and our init.php file, which is important because uh, it contains our functions and things like that. If the user's already logged in, we don't want them to access this page. So we're using the logged in redirect function to you know, kick them out of this page if they're they're already logged in because they don't need to be activating their account. And we've just got a header and a paragraph here, so we don't really need these as such at the moment. Uh, I'm also going to just pull this down, pull this down, get rid of these. So we're just just within PHP tags, and that's it. Okay, so um, now we can go ahead and actually create our activate.php page. Uh, let's just go ahead and hit enter again on this. Uh, you can see that we've now got our template, but we are passing data. We're not doing anything with it. We're not activating the user's account. We're not outputting anything. So let's go ahead and get on with doing this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually check whether uh, this data has been passed through to the page. So we need a uh, if statement here. And the condition is going to check whether these two um, get uh, all these pieces of get data have been passed so their email and email code and if you haven't already guessed email and email code correspond to email and email code this will this will basically return these values here well this won't but this will check that they're set so if that is equal to true then these values are set so let's go ahead and echo set just to make sure we're all good and working perfect set uh, and obviously if we don't have them, nothing. So if we don't have them, well, what do we want to do? So we'll create a, a conditional, uh, an else, sorry, on this conditional. And we'll just uh, we'll just redirect the user to index.php. You, you don't need to do this. You might want to display some kind of friendly error message. Oops, something went wrong. But chances are a user is trying to act, access this, you know, unnecessarily. Okay, so within here now, what do we want to do? Well, let's go ahead and create some variables and store what we've just passed um, passed in. Uh, so email equals um, dollar underscore get email. Let's just pull this down a bit so it's easier to see. And email underscore code is equal to dollar underscore get email code. Let's go ahead and trim these. So this will trim uh, white space from the left and the right hand side, just in case they've accidentally copied or pasted, copied and pasted any extra uh, white space. We want to get rid of that. That's important. Um, now what we want to do is check if this email address actually exists, because if the email address doesn't exist, there's no point continuing with the validation. So if email exists, and you'll remember this from the login process, uh, and we pass through the email, if that is equal to false, we want to append um, some or oh, an error message onto this errors array. And this errors array you should now be familiar with. We've used it in the login and the register process. So I'm going to say, um, oops, something went wrong and we couldn't 
escape that, find that email address. Okay. Um, now, what do we want to do? Else, if something. So, if this is okay and if the email address does exist, what do we want to do now? Well, we want to go ahead and we want to activate their account. However, the function that we're going to be using is going to return true or false depending on whether this uh, activation was successful. And what is an activation based on? Well, it's based on the, the email address and the uh, validation code match um, against one record. Um, so we want to say if activate is equal to uh, false, false. And what do we want to pass to this activate function? Bear in mind we haven't created that this yet. Um, we want to pass the email and the email code. And this activate function will pick up the email, the email code, and it will go ahead and you know activate our our user's account. If it successfully activates, it will return true, otherwise it will return false. So if it is equal to false, we want to append something to errors. And we're just going to say we have, uh, we had, sorry, problems activating your account. Okay, so assuming people fiddle it, uh, it's very rare that something's going to go wrong in the case that we've set this up. Okay, so um, what do we want to do now? Well, let's go ahead and before we output any errors or, or anything like that let's go ahead and actually create this active uh, activate function so over to users.php we're going to create it in here so function activate and remember we want to pass through an email and an email code and um, we need to escape this data because we're, you know, at the moment anyone can pass through anything in the URL bar. Um, so we need to use the MySQL real escape string function on this. So email equals uh, MySQL real, oops, real escape string and then pass through the email. And I'm just going to copy and paste this line because the data is almost identical with email code. Just pull that in. Email code. So we've sanitized um, the data. Um, now we want to go ahead and check, um, first of all, that these these pieces of information match. So we're going to do, we're essentially going to do two queries here. Um, we're going to do an, a query within a conditional statement, so it's going to start to look a little messy, but um, hopefully you should have got the hang of this by now. Um, so we're going to check if the email address and the email code match in one record, and active is equal to zero, so we're making sure the user hasn't yet activated their account. And if everything goes well, we're going to update the active state of the user. So if something else, something else, the else is going to return false, so if something goes wrong, uh, the uh, the condition here is going to return true and up here we're going to query the database to update user active status so in here if now we're going to use the mysql query function and we're going to say select count count is a function and we're counting by we'll just count by user id from users where and here's where we need to compare email and email code so where the email is equal to email passing this in here and email code is equal to email code and active is equal to zero we don't want to allow any users that have already activated their account to read to activate again it would be silly now we're going to wrap this all in the MySQL result function and we're accessing row 0 and that's it. Now the, if this is equal to 1, um, i.e. the count has returned 1, then we can go on and we can query to update the user's active status. So just a recap of what we've done here, we've done a query within a MySQL result. The query fetches uh, the count of rows where the email is equal to specific email, the code is equal to specific code, and active equals zero. So essentially, the email and the code that, you know, return one row. On row zero, if this whole thing, bear in mind that's if um, the result is equal to one, 
then it means that we have uh, a match. So that means that the user's provided uh, the correct email address and activation code. So we can go ahead and activate their account. So here we do another MySQL query. This time we want to update users. So we're updating a particular table. We're setting a field equal to something. So active equal to one, where email is equal to email okay it's a slightly complicated but you know if, if you're struggling with this go ahead write this code out try and grasp what we're doing what we're returning and then what we're doing based on that uh, return uh, and then obviously we're returning true here we don't have to do this but then we're returning false if this the first thing has failed okay so if any date any data doesn't match okay so we are very nearly done this will essentially work now we just need to go through the process again and test it so join me in the next part to actually finalize this and get everything wrapped up and, and get this working